so when you are engaged in a conflict on you are facing a difficulty of a difficult communication or a suffering that's coming at work or in the personal space where say a loved one is being difficult or a boss or a colleague or a client is being difficult and it's causing you duress and um, you have to engage to resolve such a scenario you could show up in any of the six ways in their order of resourcefulness so here is how uh, perhaps we engage um, when we are dealing with conflicts or with um, difficult circumstances see where you are uh, in the scenario that you are faced with the first is when we when we are confronted with emotions the first level of engagement is when we are disturbed we are disappointed we are hurt there are emotions present there is um anger frustration pain anguish insult and pure injury present and there is reaction to any of these through frustration or irritation and we want to gain control back there seems to be an impulse which is present which is as if overpowering us then what is to be done at this stage is to be still and spacious with your emotions to allow yourself to feel where in your body are they present see if you can permit yourself to just be with the sensations which are present in your body which connect with each of these emotions or any of these emotions how do i feel right now where in my body do i feel these emotions that's the level 1 of engagement the level 2 which is a which is just a sliver higher just a little better but not too much better is when we begin to uh, connect with the circumstances from a position of blame or and we are engaged in drama this is where we start looking at from with an eyes of judgment with who's to blame what is the fault the analysis happens from a place of superiority looking downwards upon whose mistake is it whose response who should be taking responsibility for the whose fault is it now we are playing the game of victimhood sometimes or of righteousness that i'm better than this these other guys why did they have to do that so when that happens you are either a victim that i am caught in this for no out of no fault of mine or it is a place of judgment and assessment or scrutiny so this is a place where we are engaged in drama we are actually in the circumstances in the situation as a player and we are now as a player we are as if battling it that's the second level and when you find yourself there see the one thing which is lost is oneness there is no patience and it's we are now playing the game of me and you being separate and apart and two sides of the table there is no common good there is no common goal there is no patience for what the other person wants to say and why even if i can hear them i can't appreciate can't relate to them there is no there is no unity of purpose there is no no common possibility that we are anchored into right now that's the level 2 so even if it's slightly better than emotional reaction it is not much better the level 3 which is slightly better than drama is the level of um situation looking at the situation as a management consultant looks at a situation with a ma- analytical point of view that what is going on so this is the circumstance this is the problem what needs to be done it's as if an impersonal view so now you are out of the drama now you're looking at the circumstances from slightly higher level and you're looking at it as if it's a logical or a mathematical problem to be solved and there are players in that solution in that problem there are circumstances to be done dealt with there are problems to be solved but you are still actually dealing with the problem a level slightly higher which makes a big difference is only opens now when you are ready to be slow so this is as far as only the intellectual level is how far your mind will take you now you need to access another kind of intelligence if you want to go even higher 
uh, in and activate your higher faculties, your greater wisdom. And that needs you to be with your heart. You need to be calm before you can access the further journey from here. So these three levels you already have access to, but for further higher, you first need to calm yourself down, slow down, maybe meditate a little bit, pray if that's your thing. Just allow yourself to be spacious, still, and let go of thinking just for a few minutes before you approach the problem again. The next, next new avenue or the next new level we show up will show up only if you could let go of the previous mindsets in favor of the kindness, the stillness, the calm, the tranquility, the love that is the place of your heart. So from here, you need to come to the intelligence of your heart. And now when you look at the circumstance, you can look from another different level. And that level is first a level of being which means that you are now willing to examine from the choice of how you showed up on the scene. Did you show up as a person who is the highest version that you know yourself to be? That means were you being the most tranquil, settled, calm, peaceful, gracious, generous, and spiritual self, wiser self when you showed up to the scene? Or were you being that agitated, and a little bit reactionary, selfish self, survival. So you are now making a choice. How was I being when I showed up to the scene? Who shall I be? Who am I called to be? How shall I deal with the circumstances is sub subsequent question. The first question is who deals with the circumstance? So before I should have show up to the scene, who shall I be? Who am I called to be? What kind of a person am I called to be? Am I called to be a person who is calm, gentle, gracious? Or am I called to be that old self which was reacting and emotional and upset or judgmental or analytical? So it invites you to be first the place of tranquility and generosity. This is the stage of making a choice of being. Who shall I be? But this is not it. You can continue to rise. The next level is a level of possibility, the level of where you begin to pay attention to what's the opportunity here? What is the highest possibility that exists in this moment? What's, po what's possible between the players here? What is the best possibility that can exist between you and me who are here in these circumstances? You will find that the best possibility could be love, harmony, and joy for mutual out of mutual support and that teaming up for a common good and when you make it real and palpable and that making it real and palpable is not an intellectual imagination it's about relating to that possibility emotionally connecting with how wonderful it would be if we could once again experience the kind of love we have experienced earlier before or which is possible between us that's the opportunity again so at it needs you to slow down even more and ask the question, what wants to happen? What wants to unfold? Universe, wh what does the universe want to create here that would be the most beautiful possibility in this circumstance? So that's one level higher, right? That's the fifth level, the level of the possibility. And then it's an invitation for you to rise to even the sixth level, which is a level of surrender and celebration. You're willing to stand a little bit back and facilitate through appreciation and allowing the coming alive of that possibility which is here, which wants to emerge spontaneously. You want to channel the spirit, you want to channel the universe, you want to channel the forces of God and divinity and your own ultimate goodness to permit this beauty to come alive, which wants to come alive naturally, spontaneously. So, so it is possible to do, it is possible to work from any of these levels in all circumstances. We can do that when we are working with our family members, when they are causing us irritation. Or we could do that when we are in conflict at work. You could show up emotionally, reacting to instances in an instant. Or you could do it 
by operating in a drama wherein who's to blame? It's your fault, it's his fault, her fault. Or it could be about, I'm the management consultant here. Let me solve the problem here intellectually. I'm being the smart guy here. Let's be smart about this. Or you could calm down. Let go of whatever fault finding, willing to feel the emotions. You're willing to even suspend your intellectual resources just for a few moments before you bring to bring them alive again from a new level of wisdom. You meditate, you bring in love, and then you begin to access higher channels, higher faculties, your greater ways of being. And then you're willing to ask, who am I called to be? Then you rise even one, for, one level further, slowing down even more, appreciating, paying attention to what wants to emerge? What kind of future wants to emerge? What wants to happen? That, that What is the opportunity, the most beautiful opportunity of this moment? And then finally, you are willing to surrender to the universe, creating it without your active participation, but through your active appreciation and gratitude. Now you are playing and, but your game is humility and perhaps prayer and appreciation. And now you are playing with each other through that attitude of appreciation and gratitude and grace and perhaps generosity, complete love. See if this works in your life. You'd like to try that out. Thank you.